the best time to take glutathione. Although taking glutathione orally may not be the most effective way in raising your glutathione levels, it certainly is one of the most convenient ways to take glutathione. And if you're taking liposomal glutathione, they recommend to take that 30 to 45 minutes before a meal on an empty stomach. So if that's easier for you to do in the morning, then do that in the morning. If you're someone who drinks unfiltered coffee or matcha, also, if, and you do that in the morning, then take it with that. Some studies have shown that when taking glutathione and you take and you drink unfiltered coffee for several hours afterwards, the glutathione levels in your blood are raised. And matcha has also been clinical, clinically proven to raise the glutathione levels consistently if you drink the matcha um, and you are also taking glutathione. Now, if you are someone who's taking vitamin C, with glutathione. Uh, some papers that I have read say that vitamin C is better taken in the earlier part of the day versus the later part of the day. Uh, one of the other supplements that people take this with to boost glutathione is the N-acetylcysteine. Now, I've come across papers that really say there's no really specific best time to take N-acetylcysteine, and a lot of people take that because it's in their collagen powder, and they mix it with their protein shake, then just take it with your protein shake whenever you are taking your protein uh, shake. Now, uh, now at night, if you are someone who eats one meal a day or you eat an early dinner, let's say, let's say at four, some people have said taking, or I should say some, not some people, some scientists have said that antioxidants are best taking a few hours before you go to sleep because it takes the body um, some time to break down the antioxidants and while you're sleeping and your body is recovering and healing, you have the antioxidants to help reduce that inflammation and to help heal your body. So let's say you have, you take dinner at four o'clock in the afternoon and by nine o'clock uh, you've digested your meal. So if you take the glutathione at nine o'clock, by the time it's four o'clock in the morning, your body has digested it and you get better sleep and your body recovers and you're ready for the day. Now, I actually did a test where I went to sleep. Um, I took the glutathione at night and then I also did it in the morning. Now, when I did it in the morning, 30 minutes uh, before I had my coffee and you know, I woke up in the morning and my stomach is empty, I noticed that when I took it in the morning, um, I had a more equal kind of energy level. And if I took the glutathione, at night, uh, I found out that I had more energy on the latter part of like at nighttime. So, so from like seven o'clock on, I had more energy if I took it right before I went to you know bed. So that was that was kind of odd. So we'll see. I'm going to continue to test it, and I'm also going to be showing you next month. I have to take a Dutch test to measure my glutathione levels since they were so low. Um, several months ago, so we can actually see how effective this is. So remember, makeup is an art, skincare is a science, and if you have not seen some of the, the factors that deplete glutathione, then catch this video right here, and I'll catch you in the next video.